It's actually a luxury situation here, guys. Page into the wall temperature here. Which one are we going to do? <laughs> Just take the E major. That's a difficult view, by the way. We start with the prelude. And also this. I'm bringing all three instruments I'm playing together, which means pianoforte, organ, and clavichord. Pianoforte and clavichord, I will make some other videos, not just not digress into that topic, but it's very hard to combine. The principles are the same. Every keyboard instrument is a matter of arm weight, finger speed, relaxation. But the, the, the balance, actually the ratio, feels like the opposite on the pianoforte compared to the clavichord. You can go from the clavichord pretty easy to the pianoforte, though you feel like your fingers are like cut, like there is not this elasticity you would mean, would miss. But from the pianoforte to the clavichord is really hard. The organ is in between, it goes both ways. And so I'm learning, really learning my age, this full cycle, having the clavichord and the pianoforte in my daily practice without really the feeling that I'm sacrificing my clavichord touch. It's really challenging. If you're not playing the clavichord, it's hard to imagine. But um, if I would play just one month piano alone, the first hour I wouldn't be able to play on the clavichord anymore. There would be like an ugly sound. That's for later videos. Let me know in the comment box what, you, what do your ideas are, what kind of content you would like to see me make also on this topic, and I will just think about that. There we go. Okay, this is really not bad. <laughs> Don't listen to this as a performance, I'm practicing. So I'm playing in a way that allows me to make a nice full sound also in the trills. So, okay, just as a disclaimer, we never know what happens on internet, right? <laughs> I need more light. Okay, so already inspiration for a video. Eh? It's back, eh? 17, 20s. Definitely need more light in the future. We'll probably overexpose a little bit now. Let me see. Yeah, anyways. Reading the notes is important, huh?
the bass is a little bit too low, but this instrument hasn't been tuned for four months, I think. Unbelievable. Clavichord so stable. I'm <clears throat> doing some, what, what I'm doing now is just trying to be as relaxed as possible. So all places where there's a little tension, I might slow down even a little bit and just might reflect the future tempo choice, I don't know. Right now there are a few spots, like for instance here. Sorry. Uh, and that, but certainly also here. You can play over it, of course. It's maybe possible, I don't know. Guys, this is on the internet. Eh? I've, I've made, I think, even an updated version of this. So I've, my, my thoughts have been developed on that. But when I practice now, like in the upstep for future re-recording, I want to clear the table. Like everything is again on again on the table. It's everything is again an option. So it's not that I, if I would have to play this tonight on concert, I I, I, I would choose one of the options there. But uh, I, I want. I like this, this, you know, you will, you always have a history. There, there is no escape of that. You have played the piece, you have studied it, you have practiced it, you've brought it to, to, to a kind of balance, performance level, so to say. Uh, so there will be never this, 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 this blank situation. But um, just opening the door for new thoughts, because when you're going to a performance, for a performance, you have to aim for that. But now I'm just like broadening the field, like everything is possible. Um, not everything, a lot. Details, it's all about details. Okay, just, just want to be very relaxed now. So no inner tension, no drive, no, and it's the best, also during a performance, it's the best way of playing music, it's like, completely being free and like if if you are actually listening to yourself it's just your body is making is in motion it makes movements but there's nothing like this that's good exercise for me happens when you're too relaxed you just your thoughts are just going you're just listening to the music feels so relaxed and then you, you should have I should stay on top of it like focused it's like finding this balance
Okay, for now. The fugue, we'll have to practice that. I, it's a very diff difficult fugue. Once we're diving into fingerings and like practice those, um, that fugue is going to be uh, in one of the courses I'm going to make because it's full of exceptions. Three voiced fugues are always more difficult in my opinion than four voiced because the middle voice is like, I can go to the right and, and the left hand and guess what I have. I cannot choose, so let's take both from time to time. <laughs> and an E major, it's a typical key on the on, on this kind of keyboard. Um, sometimes it works great, but Bach goes everywhere. Um, okay, there we go. So very slow now. these jumps. Uh, the, the, the thing is you have to release the key very late because uh, there is no sustaining pedal here and obviously I wouldn't use it on the piano either. But re releasing late, making the jump afterwards, landing on the first note with the sound you have in mind, not an easy thing in this uh,
Okay. Difficult fugue, and I definitely need to see them have more light to see the notes better. Has been a while this fugue for me, definitely over a year. I have no idea actually when I recorded this, but uh, this is one of those fugues you learn. Um, how do you say the opposite of learning? You uh, lose the notes very quickly, and it's not about playing the notes. I want to, when I'm doing this kind of reading. Fingering is already there, I can trust that. I've gone through that, there has a logic to it. And it helps me a lot, of course, bringing this, back, this piece back. Also helps me a lot in not understanding the piece, but the fingering is made in a way that it brings out, if possible, all the motives and the, and the themes and things like that. But that doesn't mean that, um, you know, having you have to understand again what's all behind all those long runs, uh, runs of notes, you know. And in this piece, it's it's not easy. So uh, all kinds of things are processed now. In spite of the fact that I've just played, I've played this piece once before. So I try to forget all of that. <laughs> For instance here, eh? the middle voice. Of a harpsichord, of course, they would be very easy because you don't have much possibilities, but here, and also not much many possibilities to, ma to, to, to mess up with this passage, but here you need to make sound. You, give the, you have the unique possibility to make sound, but it's divided between the two hands in a very, a difficult position. Syncopation. Syncopation ends here, so resolved. At the same time, releasing this G sharp because I need to give the E here a little bit of attention, which I can do because of the articulation, because it's in the theme entry. slowly and then you get this nice accent natural action on the D sharp but difficult when it works it's perfect
stream entrance here and this passage. Do you hear how you hear all these different voices now suddenly, not as one block, but in a multi-layered situation? And that's not so, it pos the clavichord makes it possible to do that. Eh? But um, in this view, So when you talk about difficulties and um, you know the, the kind of tempo and what and relate to the, the difficulty with tempo and number of notes, like then yeah, you can play it much faster. And, and, and I guess pianists do play this much faster. Um, harpsichord players perhaps too. I have actually no idea. But the complexity in like when you are a listener, that I the player points you to this voice and then that voice and there is a motive and there is a motive while the music just goes on this is what i believe is uh, virtuosity in in this regard it's it's completely above and beyond the numbers of notes the numbers of notes here is just i mean if you play it on the piano or a harpsichord it doesn't matter but let's say at the on a piano then playing it much faster is a matter of practicing and some things even will go much easier when you do when you play it much faster when we, when you when you really want to point people to this three-dimensional structure that i like to call that where suddenly it doesn't you don't see anymore this two-dimensional feel but there's, there's there's depth in in the construction in the composition in the polyphony um that's that's a complete different nature okay um, this is just this was just a pilot episode guys of practicing sessions that uh, certainly will come your way more in the future even do, do, uh, with live streams so let me know in the comment box what you would like me to do um, related to this uh, kind of practicing at the clavichord I mean there are, there are other videos that I made where you could post your questions what is uh, uh, what are your struggles in understanding the score what are your struggles when you practice? We are going to make completely different series. This is just me practicing, where a lot of that actually comes together, but it's of course all at one pile, so to say. I want to deconstruct that and present that to you in different formats. And again, also with the goal to make some really concise, 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 I mean concise, so very compact, so to say, uh, courses, um, which probably potentially hopefully uh, just uh, can be of inspiration to you um, just before we go what i forgot to say at the beginning this project is for me huge right now 
apart from the, uh, the symphony project at the piano and the sonatas. But what's coming also is Mozart. Mozart sonatas, I'm always done with the complete cycle of Mozart. I think we ju I just missed two or three sonatas. Um, I will do those, upload those also on YouTube, but then start them also completely over again to make recordings that will eventually go on CD, vinyl or digital platforms. So let me know in the comments section what you really uh, would like me to do. Again, if you want to see me practicing on the organ, those practicing sessions for now are only available on Patreon. So um, just check it out. We have also monthly hangouts there where all kinds of topics, you know, are uh, on the table. Uh, sometimes even solving the world's biggest problems because we bring some clever minds there together. It's actually unbelievable. So guys, that was it for now. Stay tuned and we see each other soon again. Bye.